Hey guys, welcome back to another grocery haul. I am sharing with you a bi-weekly Walmart grocery haul. Um, I've been in my new place for about two weeks now. So this haul was more like thought out and planned out and I got a lot of food for upcoming recipes that I'm gonna share with you guys. So if you guys are tuning in for the first time, please make sure you smash that red subscribe button. I share lots of grocery hauls, cooking, cleaning, just lots of mom motivation. So if you're into that type of content, you will not want to miss out on any of my future videos. We're going to dive right in. I spent about $240 this haul. Um, last time I think I spent around two, um, but it was a whole bunch of random stuff. This time, like I said, it was more thought out and planned out. I was able to plan out my meals and actually buy everything that I need. So let's dive right in and I'm going to share everything that I got. This time I did kind of get everything all organized. Uh, you guys know that I like to set it up kind of where everything belongs. So when I put everything away, it's easier. And then I got all this stuff over there. So we're going to start off on this side. Very first thing that I got was the kids a bunch of Lunchables. Lincoln wanted this random one. That's why this one's not an Oscar Mayer. They eat them. It doesn't matter. And then I grabbed these for Samir. He loves mac and cheese. These are just the Annie's. Uh, there are two packs for $2.48, I believe. So I just got two boxes of those. These are actually really, really good. I do love Annie's mac and cheese. I'm not usually a powdered mac and cheese type of person, but <laughs> these are very good. I also buy the box mac, mac and cheese by Annie's as well. And then I did get some heavy whipping cream because I have a lot of pasta recipes I'm going to be making. You guys are going to hear Samir, it's nap time, so he's like just in the background doing all those crazy two-year-old noises, you guys know. Uh, got some angel hair pasta, making some shrimp scampi, that's one of the meals for my meal plan this week, along with some jumbo shells. And then I did get a box of elbow macaroni because I'm gonna be making my seafood mac and cheese. I did share that recipe on my channel like well over a year ago. I've kind of changed it up. So I think I'm gonna share it again. A lot of you were asking when I posted a picture on my Instagram. So stay tuned, I'm gonna actually share that recipe here on my channel for you guys. And then I did grab two pizza crusts. We like to make our own pizza. I did also get Jack's two cheese, but it's just like on a quick, make them a quick lunch or something. But I do like to make my own barbecue chicken pizza and just other pizzas. And then I got a whole bunch of different cheeses. I got a, a big old bag of mozzarella. Losing everything. There goes the lunch rolls. Uh, and then a big bag of mild cheddar, along with some sliced Kobe and Monterey Jack mild cheddar cube this is going to be for my seafood mac and cheese along with pepper jack you already had a lunch with you're not get another one and then i did get just this two pack of crescent rolls two jack's pizzas just the cheese i got some fine beef cubes i don't know exactly what i'm gonna do with this yet i'm thinking maybe like some Philly cheesesteaks or something. And then I did get some cube steak because I'm gonna be making a Salisbury steak. Yeah. I will be sharing that recipe with you guys too. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna do a what's for dinner or if I'm just gonna like break them up. I'll decide, I don't know yet, but um, that will be one of the recipes that I'm gonna share along with my seafood mac and cheese. And then I got a thing of cream cheese. Do you wanna say hi? Hey, say hi. <laughs> What is on your face? Chocolate? Okay. <laughs> you're, you're, you're bombing my video, fat man. <laughs> and then I got some little baby red potatoes, along with some bananas, two packs of our favorite mashed potatoes, some chicken stock, chicken broth, soups, lots of recipes. I got, I'm like in a cooking mood. You guys know I love to cook too. And I like to like really cook good food and I like to always cook new things because I feel like you get tired of eating the same stuff over and over, so I have a lot of recipes I'm gonna be making. And then we really like these garlic bread sticks. I tried these the last time I had, I think I had these in my last haul, but it was the first time I, I bought the, the Walmart brand, and these are like the Twisted Nuts. These are so good. And I've gotten this before. I love this Bacon Ranch. Bacon Crunch, just not Bacon Ranch. I think they used to have a Bacon Ranch one. This is Sweet Onion Dressing. It kind of reminds me of the sweet onion sauce from Subway. It tastes very similar to that. But this is just a little salad kit. Lakin picked out these apples. I've been craving some cabbage, so I'm going to be making me some green cabbage. 
along with some cherry tomatoes. And then I grabbed a French onion dip. And I got me some regular chips too, because I have not had dips and chips. Chips and dip. <laughs> I think I just said it so backwards. I haven't had chips and dip in a long time, so I figured this would be just a snack for myself. The kids won't eat dip, only I will. Then I got a big old box of chips for the kids. I've been finding this to just be easier this way versus buying the other bags because they like to fight over them. And if I get the big bag, they think, this is Tink and Samir I'm referring to, they think that they're supposed to carry the whole bag around. So it's been just much easier and less fighting and crying when I just buy the individual bags like this. And over here I have a whole bunch of just like seasonings and a bunch of random stuff. I got some turkey pepperoni for one of the pizzas. Then some butter spread, margarine spread, whatever you want to call it. Then I got some white wine vinegar. That's going to be for my shrimp scampi recipe that I have. And I did get two cans of pumpkin. I have some fun little baking I want to do. I want to do some little mini cheesecakes. And then um, some, I make my pumpkin cake. I shared that recipe last fall, but I want to make it again. I only make it once a year. Yeah, it's a pumpkin pie cake and it's so good. So moist, it's really good. If you guys would like to see that recipe again, I can tag that video down below um, so you guys can see how I made it. A very good recipe. And then I got some plain breadcrumbs. And then I did get more seasonings because you guys know the last time I just randomly got stuff so I was getting more of like the stuff that I like so just a sea salt grinder along with the black peppercorn. And I got some Mrs. Dash, the garlic and herb. This is a new seasoning. Um, I actually got this brand for my seafood seasoning. It is bomb.com. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to try something else I have. So this is wood-fired garlic. I'll let you guys know what I think of this. But like I said, I got their seafood blend mix when I made my seafood mac and cheese. And it hands down was like some of the best seafood seasoning I'd ever tried. So I was eager to try one of these. They have so many different flavors and versions by this brand but I'll let you guys know what I think of it and then I got some cilantro then a garlic and herb packet I've never tried this packet but you guys do know I love to get the Italian season for my green beans so I figured I would try this out too and then some gravy mix I needed a jar of hot sauce I'm gonna be making my air fryer buffalo wings so good and then I got some grated Parmesan, two cans of my evaporated milk, that's going to be for my mac and cheese, a little jar of pizza sauce, I did get two jars of Alfredo sauce, and then some sour cream, I like to buy it this way, it's just much easier, and then I also did grab a red wine vinegar. My mom told me that this creamer was really good, so I wanted to pick it up and give it a try. It's just some pumpkin pie. No, I'm pumpkin pie. I'm kind of getting over pumpkin pie, though, but <laughs> that time of season. Then I grabbed me some caramel syrup for my iced coffees and just other treats for the kids. And then some Worcestershire sauce. I grabbed a thing of corn dogs for bacon, some eggs, just a little half loaf of the Hawaiian bread. Hands down my favorite bread. Perfect for sandwiches. Our favorite turkey bacon. Along with some turkey breast lunch meat. And then my shrimp. I picked these up for those little mini cheesecakes that I said that I'm going to make. So these are only $2.08 and it's six of them. These are so, so cute and adorable. So I'm going to make my little cheesecakes in that. Then I grab my pepper and onion blend. And I also did this this time because you guys know I said a lot of times when I get like the fresh produce I don't use it a lot and it goes bad so I decided to get the chopped onions like this too. It's much easier than buying a bag of onions than they're rotten in my cabinet. Two bags of broccoli and then some shredded chicken breast. Grab the kids yogurt. I was excited to see that it was on clearance. It does expire in a few days, but this will be gone probably by tomorrow. I should have actually gotten two of these. I don't know what I was thinking. A big old thing of popcorn, along with some Nutter Butters. Lakin wanted some mini marshmallows because it's cold, and that boy is like obsessed with hot chocolate. He makes it himself too, you guys. He's old enough where he goes in there he puts his milk in the microwave and the cup and then we have a big old thing of the swiss miss it's like in a big tub and he he makes his own hot chocolate now he's growing up on me 
And then I grabbed some tortilla shells. Then my regular bag of chips for my dip. Donuts for the kiddos. Lakin wanted ice cream and he grabbed this one. I don't think he realized that it's low sugar and all that, but that's good. You know what? He doesn't need all that. They just went trick or treating and they got so much candy, it's ridiculous. Fruit snacks. Lake in one of these. I honestly don't even know if he's ever eaten these, but he's like, these are my favorite, Mom. Can we have these? I'm like, sure, I guess. You guys, I don't think he's ever, I've never bought any of these, so. I guarantee we will never be buying these again because they'll be sitting in my cabinet for like months. <laughs> you never know, he might shock me. A gallon of milk. Some orange juice. Is it too early for this, you guys? Eggnog, oh my God. I seen this and I had to get it. So I grabbed the eggnog, a thing of apple juice for the kids. I got me two of these V8 Healthy Greens. I really, really like these. They also sell them in the, the cans. I don't, I've don't. i shared in like past hauls where they have the V8 drinks I get that's like in the cans, but they don't have them at my Walmart like anywhere. So I, I got it in the bottle. Lakin wanted some Sunny D's, and then I got them just a case of juice box. And then the non-food, Samir. And then the non-food, I asked you guys um, in my cleaning video what was like a good um, rinse aid. A lot of you were saying, I believe, the Jet one, but this is all I could find, so I forgot to give it a try. I do use the Cascade uh, pods that I actually do really like. Like, I'm really impressed. And you guys know I'm new to this whole dishwasher thing, but I just grabbed this one to try it out. And then some chip clips because... My chips be going stale because I just throw them in the cabinet. So that completed everything. Okay, that's going to sum up today's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Please excuse Samir in the background. Like I said, it's nap time. So he's like doing flips off the couch, making all those crazy noises. It's nap time. But if you guys did enjoy today's video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Like and share this video subscribe um i will catch you guys in an upcoming video my next video will most likely be one of these recipes i'm just trying to decide if i want to do like a what's for dinner or if i want to kind of do them separate i don't know what i'm doing but i want to start sharing more cooking you guys do really love my cooking videos so don't worry i'm going to be sharing tons of cooking recipes to come so thank you guys again for watching today's video until next time stay beautiful stay blessed and don't forget how strong and powerful you are